Hey, what's up guys? It's Brickmoto and we're going to be reviewing today number set number 75347. It is the Thai Bomber. Uh, it's been a while since this set has been re-released and it is amazing. It comes with four minifigures and guys, it looks insane. So as we look on the box, this ship looks amazing. Um, it comes with four figures. It comes with four minifigures, Vice Admiral Sloan, Darth Vader, Thai Bomber Pilot and a Gonk Droid. I can't wait to see what that looks like. Also, it's a 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, and it has a cool little uh, sticker there to show it. Then, on the back of the box, we see him filling up the uh, the cart with those bombs, and then it shows the mechanics of it. You have where the TIE fighter pilot sits, you've got Darth Vader talking to uh, Vice General Sloan, and yeah, it just looks amazing, and I can't wait to get into this set. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's unbox this. So like any set, it comes with a bunch of bags and it obviously comes with the, uh, the instructions manual as well. So with everything there, let's uh, put this together. So there we go guys, the set is complete. Uh, it was an amazing build, it took 25 minutes max I'd say, um, but I really loved building this set. It was really cool, uh, some of the dynamics that was used and I've seen some in the TIE Fighter, like some of the similar builds. But yeah, let's have a look at the minifigures. So firstly, let's look at Darth Vader. He looks amazing, he has the uh, printed top printed pants and the back of his uh, shirt is also printed too which is really cool and also um, which is my first ever minifigure to have it arm printing um, yeah it's really cool to see Darth Vader with arm printing because in a lot of says he doesn't and uh, under the helmet he obviously has the uh, ooh. But yeah there you see his face it has the um, destroyed skin <laughs> and on the back it also shows that the skin's cracked as well and just uh, yeah, let's put it back on probably uh but looking as well, put the lightsaber in. But yeah, really good Darth uh, Vader figure. Next up, we got the TIE Fighter Pilot. He looks really cool. Uh, printed top, printed pants. He also has printed back as well. Um, I love the mold of the helmet. But yeah, I think the helmet looks really cool. And if you take it off, it's just one of those stern faces. But yeah. Next up is Vice Admiral Sloan. She looks amazing. Got the uh, printed top. Uh, has the rank there. Um, printed back piece. Um, and yeah, it's just a really good figure in general. Uh, it comes with a bl mini blaster as well. Then a character who I didn't think would make it into this set um, is the Gonk Droid. Uh, I've never owned a Gonk Droid before, so it's really cool that we get one. Um, I love the build. I <laughs> just love the little waddle that he has. So the side build that we have is this carrier or transport. It's like a rocket transport, but um, it's really cool. And if you get a minifigure, let's say we get a TIE Fighter pilot. Just, just for instance, uh, put him there. Then, uh, you know, just basically transports the rockets to the ship. It looks really cool. I love the way that works. Looking at the ship itself, it looks really cool. It's really sleek. I love the way um, of how it feels. It's the build of it was really fun. Um, and yeah, just was it just the whole process of it reminded me of building the TIE Fighter. Uh, but was it the way that you open the cockpit is like that. Then um, you slide in the characters, there's printed tiles there for the control panels, which I'll show you now. So if you were to take a TIE Fighter Pilot, then you would just uh, slide them into there. The one sad thing is you don't get to actually see the TIE Fighter Pilot in there. Um, obviously because it's a black piece, it's a printed piece instead of just a you know, see-through glass uh, piece. But you just open that up and he's there. Um, and he's controlling the ship with the panels. And I just think that looks really cool how it fits. It's kind of a perfect fit. Uh, that's the top of the ship. And in the back you'll see the, the engine thrusters. Like that, there we go. I love what they did, they're just really clean design for the engines. Um, just two red studs, and then obviously you got the uh, you got the landing. So obviously the play features for the uh, TIE Fighter is the the bomb. Or was it the TIE, the TIE Bomber? And if you look there, that's where all the bombs are, and if you press them down, then hopefully it should... There you go. All the bombs drop down. To restock them in, all you have to do is put them up into there like that. Like that. And it is all restocked. So yeah guys, that was the LEGO TIE Fighter Bomber. Guys, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I really enjoyed this set overall. I love the minifigures you get with it. The ship is really, really cool. I didn't think it'd be as cool like in hand than it was like on box. Like it looks cool on box, but I didn't think that it would actually capture as well in person. But yeah guys, let me know if you managed to get this set in the comments down below and what you think about it. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.